Thank you for joining our program tonight. My name is Aisha Math. Tonight I have the opportunity of speaking to four medical students from across the country. Shannon is from Manitoba and she had the unique opportunity to come visit Calgary uh, as a medical student. Um, while you're in Calgary though, did you also see someone who was pregnant and in need of help? No, nothing crazy like that, but I did drink a lot of coffee and ate a lot of food. Oh, well, Calgary is known for its amazing food scene. They have lots of up and coming restaurants. Um, coffee scene is awesome. Have you gone to Village Ice Cream? It's the best ice cream ever. Yeah, I heard all that, but no, not really. It was just constant coffee, free coffee from staff in the morning. Thank you. And then snacks at lunch. Hey guys, I got you some cookies and oh, I'm going to take you. your lunch later. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> I actually brought my lunch one day, but then the staff just bought me another lunch. So this chicken is the best food ever. They were very interested in making sure I was well fed and well watered. Lots of flat whites. Hey Paxton, you worked really hard today. Should we get something on Skip the Dishes? It sounds like you're describing a culture where staff um, are very collegial with the residents. Um, they foster an environment of wellness. They care so much about the residents. Within like three minutes, they knew my whole life story. And you could just tell that they were there to support us the whole time. Plus, we always had coffee. And the graduated call schedule, yeah, I heard a little bit about it. Um, it seems like life, you know, gets a little bit better when you get older through the years, the ranks. Graduated call means that as you advance in your residency training, uh, you do fewer call shifts. And that allows you to focus a little bit more on um, your day-to-day -day activities, being in the OR, uh, rather than recovering from a really hard night on labor and delivery. Nap call is this wonderful concept where the residents uh, have a chance to sleep for a few hours or just put their feet up to rest or go to the gym or do what they need to do before doing their long 18 to 26 hour call shift. So it sounds like the Calgary Obstetrics and Gynecology program has a very collegial environment. It sounds like the staff are very uh, approachable, it's very supportive. They have your best interest in mind. I hear that they have a wellness day. They take their students skiing in the winter. Um, there's also retreats in Banff. Did you hear anything about that? Yeah, all the residents were raving about the fun that they had with their surgical preceptors in Banff for the foundation's retreat. It seemed like a hoot and a half. Thank you so much, Shannon, for coming out here today and talking about your incredible experiences uh, while visiting Calgary. It sounds like you had a an awesome time and that there's an incredible program uh, full of wellness, culture and collegial environment um, that's waiting for you. So hopefully you do come back uh, in, a, in another context in the future, uh, possibly part of the residency program. I hope so. Thanks for having me. My next guest is Rebecca. Rebecca comes to us from Vancouver. She also had the unique opportunity to visit the obstetrics and gynecology program in Calgary. When you were in Calgary, you also encountered um, something unusual. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, um, I'd heard that there were lots of great parks in Calgary, so I tried to explore a bunch of them, and that's definitely true, there's tons. But when I went to this one park, it seemed like there was just this big group of people and 30 different dogs that all seemed to love each other, all the people seemed to love each other, all their kids seemed to love each other. It sounds like you were at a dog park, and it sounds like that group of people were a group of obstetrics and gynecology residents. No way, really? Well, actually that kind of does make some sense because this one girl, her, I think it was a pager, went off while we were there and ran off to her car and just took off. <laughs> It sounds like that one individual was on the good old gynae oncology rotation. That's the only rotation they do where it's home call. So she was likely answering a page from a patient that needed her help. Maybe someone who had to go back to the OR, who knows? It was like almost no thought went into it. She just passed her dog off to someone else, which is kind of cool to see that they're willing to do that for each other. I also hear that many of them have taken maternity leave and paternity leave. It 
it seems like you know a lot about this program. Thank you so much, Rebecca, for coming this way and telling us all about your experiences in Calgary. It sounds like it's a program where the residents are uh, quite close with one another and it's a family that keeps on growing. They have many dogs, they have many family members. It's a wonderful program and I certainly hope that you'll be applying uh, to the residency program. Our next guest is Eloise. Eloise is a medical student who comes from Montreal and she too has uh, a few stories to share with us about her time in Calgary. Welcome Eloise. Thank you. So you too have a story to tell uh, about your time when you came to visit Calgary, don't you? Yes, I do. So I was actually here on an elective um, in the summer and whilst on elective, I went to the Calgary Stampede. and a bunch of the obstetrics and gynecology residents actually came with me. Um, they taught me to line dance, it was very fun, they were really friendly. And um, something very, very weird happened while I was there. I mean, helping you line dance, that's pretty standard around here in Calgary, I would say. We're a pretty friendly group of people. Well, I was quite surprised by how nice they were, but the weird, thing that happened was one of the people dancing there collapsed on the floor crying out in pain. And the residents just kind of got together, started grabbing things from their car, and they performed a laparoscopic surgery right then and there on the stampede floor. We have a 27-year-old previously healthy female with a positive home pregnancy test presenting at the Calgary Stampede with an acute onset left lower quadrant pain and pre-syncope. This is a ruptured atopic pregnancy until proven otherwise. She needs surgery stat. Sounds like you had the unique opportunity to witness a bunch of uh, obstetrics and gynecology residents in action doing laparoscopy. I hear that they have very early hands-on exposure to doing gynecology surgery. Um, and there you witness some mentorship between uh, the residents and potentially with some of the attendings. Mentorship is quite prevalent throughout their program. Uh, I hear they have assigned attendings who are mentors to some of the residents um, and they will occasionally get together uh, over dinner or coffee, have a discussion about their careers, also some of the celebrations that they have for the first time they're doing their C-sections or first time they're doing a hysterectomy. Um, it's a really collegial environment. Residency is really tough, so that's an important uh, outlet to have for sure. Yeah, you could really tell how close-knit they were. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming here and telling us about this incredible story. It sounds like you had uh, an opportunity to witness such a supportive collegial teaching environment, um, as well as an ectopic pregnancy uh, and a laparoscopic surgery in the middle of the Calgary Stampede. It's very cool. Thank you, Eloise. We hope to see you soon. Thank you. Our next guest is Evan. Evan is a medical student who comes to us from Toronto, and he too had a unique opportunity to visit Calgary. Welcome, Evan. Thanks so much for having me. All the medical students across Canada are very eager to know, what did you find out when you came to Calgary? Well, I'd say the most significant thing was the great outdoors. I love being outside, the fresh air, the mountains, camping, uh, backcountry camping, uh, like just looking at the larches and but, the but mountains Evan, change color. Evan, yeah, that's not what we're getting at here, though. Something else happened to you while you were in Calgary. I stubbed my toe um, <laughs> over a counter and um, prevented me from getting outside to do some more hiking okay, no, and no, no, no. snowmobile. No, no, you saw something when you were out hiking one day. Tell us that story. Oh, the incident. Yeah, I know <laughs> what you're talking about. So I came across this group of people while I was out, you know, taking in some more of the great outdoors. And uh, they had a pregnant woman with them. I think they said she was like 52 weeks pregnant or something like that. Classic. A um, pregnant person hiking. That's not news. Yeah. Anyway, I was telling them about my secret pasta recipes and I think they got so excited and distracted from the hike that uh, 
the pregnant woman actually tripped. Oh my gosh. And so she got up and seemed to be okay, but then she started to seem more and more uncomfortable. So the people that were with us, they said, well, you know, it's no trouble because we're our ones in Calgary. So, you know, I have no idea what they're talking about. <laughs> but the residents got out their backpack and they got out these bands and instruments, I think like big spoons with big holes in them. I don't know oh, how they eat forceps. with- forceps. Oh, okay, forceps. Uh, they use these instruments and then honestly, before I knew it, she had given birth on the side of the mountain. It's incredible. And then we hiked out. It was a really nice day. <laughs> it sounds like you had the unique opportunity to witness a group of first year uh, residents in the obstetrics and gynecology program doing an emergency delivery on your hike. I mean, they're a really competent group of residents who get pretty early training in doing both basic and complex deliveries. I mean, I hear they also learn how to do C-sections in their first year. Hopefully not in the mountains. Hopefully not in the mountains, but in various hospital settings, there's four sites in Calgary. So they get to rotate through high volume centers and they get really comfortable doing it. It sounds like they're comfortable doing it literally anywhere. They seem pretty comfortable and competent. I trust them to deliver my baby in the mountains. <laughs> Boy, for a TV host, you seem to know a lot about this. So in addition to being a TV host, I'm also a fourth year resident in the obstetrics and gynecology program here in Calgary. And with that being said, I will now introduce Dr. Sarah Glaze, my program director of the obstetrics and gynecology program in Calgary. We are very proud of this program. We feel that we are the complete package of an amazing group of residents, very involved staff, high volume uh, that will lend itself to excellent training in your residency. Um, we think the city is amazing, the mountains are amazing, um, and we are really proud of this program. I've always wanted to be the program director here, and I'm so thrilled to be the program director here. We have a really involved residency program committee um, full of people that want to make our program always better and better. Um, so I would really encourage medical students to think about Calgary, think about OBGYN. Um, I love my job, both my clinical job and my academic job, and this is the place to be. Who is your favorite <laughs> resident? Now answer honestly, 